Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Friday, July 17th, 2020, about 12.05 p.m. West Coast time out here in California, where it's going to be another scorcher. Not looking forward to another 100-degree day, and there's no breaks in sight. So it is what it is for now, and we'll just uh, have to deal with it. A lot of earthquake activity taking place on the opposite side of the world over here around India following a larger earthquake that struck this morning. A 6.1 magnitude quake striking right around the uh, India area and um, quite a few aftershocks following that area of activity as well near uh, well, USGS has this around uh, 200 kilometers east of Port Blair, India. but. Needless to say, it's still right around the India area uh, where all this activity is taking place. Let's go ahead and switch over to a different map here. And uh, you guys will be able to see the uh, activity that I'm referring to. I've been having a little bit of internet issues uh, this morning on the Wi-Fi side. So I'm not for sure if something's going on out there in the air today. Maybe some type of electrical interference. But uh, we're wired back up here to the LAN and uh, should have no issues on the streaming and upload now. I just prefer to run Wi-Fi for the mobility of it, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that. Anyway, here's the area of interest. Here's Port Blair over here to the west um, by uh, you know about 200 kilometers or so, 230 kilometers. So all this activity taking place out here in the ocean um, prior to that 6.1 there had been quite a few uh, moderate to small quakes as well um, earlier, 4.8, 4.6, and the 5.1 uh, prior to that 6.1, like I mentioned. And uh, the activity occurring today following that 6.1 with a 5.0, 4.8, and a larger of the sequences at a 5.7, just striking a short time ago. All this activity looks to be right around 10 kilometers or so below the surface. And um, let's back out here so you can see the, uh, the specific area here. You got Bangkok over here in Thailand. Uh, way down to the south is, uh, uh, well, some pretty active area. We can check out the historical seismic activity data in this region. And you guys will be uh, seeing quite a bit of um, circles, if you will, pop up here on this specific map. And this here is a map showing historical activity over, you know, record keeping within this region here. So this area is no stranger to uh, lots of earthquakes and some big ones at that. So this is uh, not up, not abnormal, interesting activity, uh, but it is typical to see activity within this region here. So, and as I said, some pretty big ones out there as well. Um, in this area. Go ahead and head back here out of this region. So I'm, I'm expecting a little bit more um, in the way of further aftershock activity with what's going on there with the larger aftershocks following that 6.1 and all the earthquake activity prior to the 6.1. We could be seeing uh, something larger here pretty soon. Uh, that's kind of how we see these, uh, you know, these uh, larger quakes. And by larger, I mean upwards of 7.0 or greater. Um, this is just something that we kind of see on occasion prior to a uh, larger quake. Pretty good chance. Not saying there's going to be, but it's definitely looking uh, likely. 5.3 way up in India. Well, way north of this area, I should say. All this activity following a uh, larger quake over here near Papua New Guinea, a 7.1 that struck yesterday. Originally 7.3 downgraded to 6.9 and then upgraded to a 7.0. Uh, I said 7.1, huh? I meant 7.0. And uh, so a little bit of a flip flop in there from the USGS, but uh, it's all good. That one kind of triggered a tsunami statement at first, but that was definitely uh, squashed once. Uh, the earthquake was evaluated um, and all this activity I've been talking about followed this 5.0 that struck at 500 kilometers below the surface 
extremely deep movement. Uh, and then that's when we started seeing all this activity shoot down south and then well over to the west and north, kind of kind of following this little specific plate boundary area um, throughout Indonesia and up into the uh, current activity area east of Port Blair, India. So, and now, now I think we're just going to see uh, where this wants to go and what Mother Nature wants to do. I mean, she's going to provide earthquakes wherever it's needed. West Coast relatively quiet out here today, folks. Uh, this is a 2.5 and above map. Not a whole lot of activity. We'll take a look at the uh, other map here on the Caltech website. There's a little bit of earthquake activity in Northern Cal. Uh, 2. Point, well, what is that? 2.3 near Willow Creek, it looks like. Kind of up there in the mountains of Northern California. Other than that, activity has remained relatively um, average, if you will, for this part of the uh, of the West Coast. Yellowstone National Park, just real quick, there's that 7.0, 7.3 that showed up on the graphs there in Yellowstone National Park. A lot of times, uh, some larger earthquakes like that do show up thousands of miles away. you got to remember this is uh, some pretty sensitive equipment out here. Uh, these seismograph stations are, that is. A lot of P waves following that seven pointer. You can see the waviness of the line there. But far as specific earthquake activity in Yellowstone National Park, it appears to be non existent. A little bit of spiking, some small microquakes over here by Lake Yellowstone. Um, I don't believe that's the start of a swarm, but you never know. That's kind of how they start, right? Lake Yellow, Lake Butte up here near Lake Yellowstone. You can see the activity there. So, kind of watching that region. Anyway, folks, we are kind of just hanging out here on this Friday, watching the Earthquake 3D stream. We are uh, open for chat, right? And pretty much uh, anything else that anyone wants to talk about. I know in the past there, uh, hold on one second here. 